Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Retire Young Radio Show. If you're a first-time listener, thanks for stopping by. I am your host, Joshua David, and we are happy to have you with us today. On the program again, as always, I have my great friend, my great pal, and the mastermind of this whole operation, the brains, Mr. Al Connix. And Al, how the heck are you doing today? Well, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling okay. However, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was getting a little pre-state fair depression. <laughs> Not next week, but the week after we would have done our first of two of these uh, sessions at the state fair, but not this year. So come on, let's get this coronavirus thing taken care of so we can uh, all enjoy the state fair next year. There you go. The good thing is we still will be on the air. We'll just be doing it as regularly scheduled. We, we will. We'll always be here for you. Yep. It's always great to be back helping our retired young family make those better investing decisions. And now we, you know, other than what's going on in this country, we have a really good market and now is a really good time to be a trader or an investor because there's just so many opportunities. We had another great week in the markets. Uh, markets were up again. We had this S&P up. The Dow was up. The NASDAQ was just barely up as well. So, But there's also opportunities within these markets, whether it's up or it's down. So as we get into the show here today, I want to cover many different things. I want to cover how the smart money is creating income. I want to cover how the smart money is also creating returns in retirement, even with these small gains uh, in the market, but also how us as investors can really participate and trade like the smart money, even though we're not those institutions. There's ways and techniques and concepts that we can use as investors just like they do. So, Al, as we get into this first segment, what's happening with these markets? How can the average investor participate with these up markets? It's not just buy and hold but there's ways we can utilize a stock market to participate. Yeah, well, the markets have, have been up for some time now. This last week was kind of a quiet week. Really, it was more of a sideways week with the, you know, the Dow eking out a bit of a gain. The S&P tried to hit a record but couldn't quite make it. And the, the index that has been leading the market, the NASDAQ, did the, the worst of the three. So, you know, there's a lack of a catalyst right now. We've gone through earnings. Our earnings are pretty much over. That's something that that we always look at as a potential market mover. Um, we had, you know, employment numbers, retail sales. Uh, Biden picked a, a vice presidential candidate. None of those things seem to be a big enough catalyst to have a big move in the market. But we've had an up, a huge up market. Uh, this last week was a little bit of a sideways uh, up, a sideways market. And the other direction the market can go, of course, is down. And what we're seeing right now is that the market's really being driven by optimism, not economic fundamentals. There's been this disconnect. So instead of the, the market reflecting what's happening now in the economy, it's, it's reflecting what people want the economy to be doing in the future. A lot of advisors now are saying, you know, this is the time that you really need help. You need an advisor. You need someone there to, to hold your hand. Well, the bottom line is that the advice that they're going to give you while they're holding your hand is don't worry about a correction or a crash. You know, if we happen to be at a market peak right now and we have a, a bit of a, a pullback, don't worry about that. Just uh, just hold on. You're in this for the long term. That's kind of the go-to advice. But we're seeing all sorts of opportunities on a shorter term basis right now. And instead of what Wall Street's their go-to advice for most people is what we call that buy and hold strategy where a portfolio is put together and then you're told just this is long term. You're in this for the long term. It may be multiple decades. So don't worry about corrections or crashes. Well, if that buy and hold was the best way to take advantage of the financial markets, why don't the, the smart money, why don't the institutions, the pros do that with their money? Now, think about that. The institutions or the smart money, they're doing something totally different exactly. than they're what they're putting their clients in. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, it makes sense to them because it's, yeah. a, it's a great business model. They put together a portfolio and then basically tell you to hold on so there's very little hands-on uh, you know work that's involved there. But So maybe they're seeing something different. Maybe they're seeing benefits on a regular basis, not just on a decades-long basis. So if you want to know what they're doing, why they're doing it, those are the things that we talk about in these classes. Uh, you know, this is a key time with the market at high values like it is right now. We know that the market will never just continue to go one direction. There's always going to be some pullbacks, some corrections. You know, typically we have at least one or several corrections, which would be a 10% drawdown or more per year. Uh, so there will be these times when whatever you have in your portfolio, there's going to be a, a little bit of a pullback. 
Um, those are missed opportunities. If you're just holding on, your portfolio has to fight back even harder to get back to where it was. No matter how much you were down percentage-wise, the percent return on the upside has to be larger. And we always use this uh, example. If it's down 50%, you have to be up 100%. So ignore it, you know, taking advantage of those opportunities and let instead of having the market impact you negatively is one of the goals that our students have. Yeah, it, it's, it all comes down to taking advantage of opportunities. There's a lot of opportunities in the markets right now. I mean, there's there's a lot of fear of missing out is what there is, but you want to sure. get into the markets properly with the proper protection. But the main thing that you need before getting into the markets, is you need education. You need to be educated just so you can understand how the markets work to make better investing decisions. So, Al, you mentioned these classes. Well, I have some tickets to an investing class that I want to give away uh, to callers 1 through 10. And these these classes are interactive classes where we do right here at the Academy. And we also uh, stream these online so they're live as well. So, And you talk a lot about how the markets work, how the stock market works, and how us as investors can participate. But most importantly, how we can get started utilizing the stock market. Now, coming up in this next segment, I mean, we have a lot to cover here in this next hour. I want to get into how the smart money is creating income in their accounts. There's multiple asset classes. We're going to talk about the stock market, how they're using that, but also these other markets like the futures and the Forex market and doing that safely. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. This is Josh and Al with the Retire Young Radio Show. We will be right back. 